video is brought to you by Let Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, the Larson here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And in this video, I want to teach you how I make very cool operator basses, something like these. If you want to dig deeper into Neuro production, click here for my academy for the noisy Astar Neuro drum and bass start to finish masterclass. And if you want this project, check my Patreon with tons of other cool stuff, but right now let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm talking about this bass sound. Now this is an operator bass, but the most important part here is like always the process. I mean, the process is very important because without the process, let me show it to you. But with the process. So it's so fast. So first, let's go through the process. So what I'm doing now is I'm processing the full thing with the sub. So not only the mid basses but the sub together, so the full bass actually. And this amp effect is so cool, so for basses it's just very very strong and create very nice low-end harmonics or mid-low harmonics that can make your bass sound really fat. Okay, next I added an OTT. And the gate to get rid of the unnecessary noises. Then I added the reverb to add some very shallow atmosphere and stereo weight to this whole sound. Then I compress it with a multiband compression preset. And now, what is the most important part here is the EQ. So this is what really makes the sound. So as you can see, I made a cut in the middle and the middle low energy. So 500Hz, 200Hz and around 2.3k Hz. And I boosted at around 50Hz. And the limiter. So as you can see, the process is very important. So with some distortion, you create very nice middle-low energy, middle-low harmonics. Then with some compression and EQing, you can make your bass really fat and crunchy. Okay, so without the process, we have a sub bass and a mid bass. Now this is a very dumb sound on itself, but as you heard, with some process, we can make it really shine. But let me show you to you what to do and how I make this kind of basses in Operator. Now again, you can use Serum, for example, but I prefer Operator because it is a lot more complex and a lot you have a lot more options to use FM. So this is the Operator preset. I'm using this serial chain, this FM matrix. So it is a sine wave with some extra harmonics. And as you can see, this is the main envelope that I used here. Now I modulated it with another sine wave on full throttle. Now, as you can see, I didn't change anything. The envelope is just, you know, static. But the course is on five. And then I used a square wave with this shape. And on course eight. So this is the full sound. And here comes the trick. <coughs> I use operator D to add some movement to the sound. So you can take it as a wavetable position movement, but in this case, I just use operator D to add the same movement. So um, it's the same terminology, I would say. So it's the same result, but with different process, different tools. Okay, I also added a pitch envelope. This is not that important, but the filter is more important. And as you can see, I modulated the decay. So if I go here, you can see the modulation on the decay, on the filter decay, filter envelope decay, and operator D level movement. So this is what makes a sound. It's not that hard and not very complex, but what you can do here is so cool because with complex FMing you can create your own wavetable and it is still not wavetable because a wavetable basically is just a sample inside uh, a sample player like sort of so it always has its limitations but here with fm with proper fm the result is very very different and actually a lot stronger so just take a, so just take a sine wave with extra harmonics and start modulate it with higher frequency anything basically so it squares or saws anything like that and on top with operator d 
just you know try anything that creates some extra harmonics and just play with the knobs so basically you are making the movement and the, evol and the evolution of the sound okay then i decided to add the phaser and an overdrive and an equalizer to chop off the very lows and some stuff at around 2.2k and once again after the process Okay, so if you want to dig deeper into Nero production, click here for my academy and you can download this whole project from my Patreon. And I was there last time, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.